what's going on youtube i'm back with another video and today we're looking at the elites for chapter 263 of jjk shout out to me and more on twitter make sure to go follow him and let's get right into this video last chapter will left with the cliffhanger that rika was holding yuta's dead body at the start of this chapter the narrator is explained that yuta can't use any other cursive being other than gojo's luminous right now he notices that since sakuna lost his left arm he hasn't been able to use the work on his flash yuta believes that sakuna doesn't have another way to overcome the limitless technique other than the main amplification Yuta then lifts and throws Sakuna and kicks him away. He landed a punch on Sakuna's head, but Yuta is slightly having a hard time to adjust to Gojo's long arms and legs. Yuta knows that he can't match the Gojo's limitless coach technique with just one swap training. He then says, now I understand why the six eyes is a must need. Yuta remembers Gojo saying, it's okay, I'm the strongest. And thinks how much it did take for him to say that confidently. But Sakuna notices that Yuta is struggling with Gojo's curse technique and asks Yuta if he has time for this and punches him away. Many flashbacks shows that Kenjaku has informed Sakuna about Yuta's copy curse technique. He thinks that the requirement to copy is most likely Rika consuming a body or a part of the body. But Sakuna wonders if Yuta can use the curse technique he had copied before, but he realizes that Yuta can only use the limitless for now. Sukuna ponders on how long Yuta's curse technique will last. If Kenjaku's curse technique ends, will Yuta still go to his body? What if Yuta hasn't even thought of what will happen after this fight? Sukuna slowly realizes what Yuta's plan might be as he remembers Gojo's hollow purple. A small flashback shows. After his finished swap training, Gojo takes a dig at Yuta saying his curse technique is too inconsistent. But he gets immediately rebuked by Maki as she says Gojo is too strict on Yuta and the others join in to defend Yuta. So back to the present. Yuta begins to chant for Hollow Purple but Sakuna immediately grabs hold of his arms and undoes the sign and punches him away. Sakuna thinks himself that he won't let Yuta use that Hollow Purple. After this, Yuta immediately uses blue and suddenly a recorder flies near Sakuna which Inamaki screams don't move. So glad he Maki's back. I've been waiting for him to return in this fight. I knew he would. Sukuna freezes in shock as Yuta fully finishes the chance and loads Hollow Purple, which is ready to fire on Sukuna at any moment. And that's the end of the chapter. In my opinion, I believe one of two things are going to happen next chapter. One, the Hollow Purple is like doesn't work because it's Yuta using it, not Gojo, so it's kind of bad. Or two, the don't move by Inomaki doesn't work because the wording in the chapter, it says Sukuna freezes out of shock. Not that he freezes from the curse technique. And we see the other fights that you can use curse energy in your ear to kind of avoid it. So that's why I believe it's going to happen. 